What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the newest software update inside of Adobe Premiere Pro version 14.6. And I'm going to talk about one of my favorite features. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Now let's head down here in the timeline. Now the one feature that kind of stood out to me in this newest update is something that we all use every single time and it's something that'll just shave off a little bit more time and just be more convenient. And I'm talking about exporting video. So traditionally with exporting video, you'd have your item in the timeline, you'd have your project finished, you'd come up here to file, go down to export, go to media, open up the media window, choose all your settings and then export. Or there's obviously the keyboard shortcut that I would do all the time was just Command M on a Mac. It would pull up the same menu, you go through the same settings, export. But the newest feature inside this latest update, 14.6, there's even a quicker way. You're going to see this quick export button. And once you click it, it's going to show you a minimalized version of that export menu. So come down here and there's file name and location. You click on that. You can name it whatever you want and then save it wherever you want. So I'm going to leave it there. Then if you want to just match the source. But let's just say we want to do high def. It's going to give me all the information that represents that choice and then click export. That's it. And then it's going to give you a reference down here, letting you know where it's saved and then it's been complete. So going forward, if you do it again, we'll click it one more time. And I always save mine to the same place every single time. So I would never change this. So that's one less step you have to do. And then I would just change whatever resolution I want. That being said, you can click it come down to presets, whichever quality you want, and then click export. That's how fast that can be. So it just shaves off a little bit of time. It saves a few steps. If you have a standard workflow that's, you always export in 1080, you always export in 4K. If you have a little rhythm, that'll just shave off a little bit of time and add more convenience. So I think it's a great new update and all these little tweaks will just make everything that much more simple. And if you learned a little something, enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel because I'm always creating new content. That being said, have a great day. Later.